Thank you for joining me today. Today we're going to talk about what is belief work. So what is belief work? It is about uncovering and discovering subconscious beliefs that may be limiting or in some other way um, constricting us and changing them so that we can be more expansive, so that we can have the highest truth, and so that we can experience the world in a better way because our beliefs create the lenses through which we look at the world. And so when we change those lenses and have the highest truth and perspective, it can really be helpful in experiencing the world in a much kinder and more loving way. So we have four levels of beliefs. The core level, which is the frontal lobe, that is about what we've learned in this lifetime. And it's pretty easy to change. And those are some of the easier ones to discover because, you know, think back to childhood. What were you taught? What did you hear? What was um, the environment like? That kind of thing. So then the second is the genetic level. And that is actually, if you go straight in and straight in, where the pineal gland is, like in the center of the brain, we can access the genetic level through the master molecule that is in the pineal gland. And it's, it's really interesting how the genetics can work because over the course of human history, our genetics have taken on programs and beliefs and memories that have kept us alive kept us safe and so the world we live in today is really different from that of our ancestors it's really different even that of our grandparents when they were kids and so I'm a Gen X generation and my grandparents were the traditionalists my dad and my actually my dad, mom and dad both are baby boomers so when you look at the world that they lived in and the world we live in it's so different and then go back just one more generation even different one more generation and it's just it's things have changed so fast that a lot of the beliefs that are held in the genetics really don't serve us anymore and so to find genetic beliefs you can look at your family well what did they talk about what kinds of things did they believe even if you think you don't believe it or, or you disagree with it, especially if you vehemently disagree with it and it triggers you and it just pisses you off when they go there, well, guess what? You might want to check the genetic level because if it's triggering you, you probably have it somewhere. And it's okay. You can change it. It's, it's not a big deal. It's just a genetic imprint, and that can be changed pretty easily and quickly. So then we have the history level. And the history level is typically felt around the back of the shoulders and the back of the neck. And that has to do with very deep genetic programs and past lives, um, ancestral types of things. Um, and it is different from the genetic, even if there's a genetic component or ancestral component. So it's really interesting how things can come up on the history level, I mean, you can, a lot of times you'll feel tension in the shoulders or the neck. You start thinking about something or you hear something and you start tensing up. Um, that's a possible issue is that there's a belief held being triggered on the history level. Then we have the soul level. So the soul level is found right about the heart space, the heart chakra. Uh, when I feel something that's soul level, I typically feel it in my back like this big circle. Um, right around my shoulder blades where the back of the heart chakra would be and sometimes it gets kind of painful and achy when it's something that's just really hard for me to look at it, it gets a little painful again it's pretty easy to shift and clear that too so those are the four levels of belief and you can have something on some levels but not all if you check out my video how to muscle test that will help you discover what beliefs you might have. So if you get into muscle testing and then you're doing straight yes and no, yes and no, and you're not getting clear answers, there's a couple reasons for that. One, you may not have creator's truth, perspective or understanding of what yes is or what no is. I actually had a client who wouldn't, we couldn't get her to accurately muscle test 
and I'm a like, creator, what is this? And I heard, she doesn't know what yes is, or something like that. So we downloaded her with yes, and creator's definition of no. So we, we brought those in from creator's perspective, started testing perfectly. So if there's an issue with that, um, you might wanna check into some of those things. You can check each level. If you are unclear on what you're getting, start checking the levels. So you say your statement and then on the core level, say the statement on the genetic level, say the statement on the history level, say the statement on the soul level. And so that can really help you pinpoint where things might be. So that's what belief work is and that's how you can use muscle testing to, uh, or that's a way to deepen the muscle testing for the belief levels. So I hope you found this interesting and helpful. So if you have questions, feel free to shoot me an email at katiekiefer at awakentheinnerlight.com. And I'll see you next time.